Dianne Feinstein, the longest serving woman in Senate history and a role model for generations of women, has died at age 90. Andrea Mitchell reports on her life and legacy. Tonight, tributes from both sides of the aisle for Dianne Feinstein, her desk draped in black, a vase of white roses, for a senator known for sending flowers to colleagues. Today, there are 25 women serving in this chamber, and every one of them would admit they stand on Diane's shoulders. Her beloved home state of California and our entire nation are better for her dogged advocacy and diligent service. The country's going to miss her dearly, and so will Jill and I. And women senators for whom she painted watercolors. Every time I would pass by, I would look at it and think about how talented Diane was in so many different areas. Feinstein's political career began in tragedy. November 1978, San Francisco Mayor George Moscone and Board of Supervisors member Harvey Milk were assassinated in City Hall. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Cementing her lifelong commitment to gun safety, Elected San Francisco's mayor, she was on Democratic nominee Walter Mondale's shortlist for running mate before he chose Geraldine Ferraro. I've had an opportunity now to be the, the first woman and the first mayor to be asked to go through an interview process. And I view that as a major opening of a door. It was the public outcry over the all-male Judiciary Committee's grilling of Anita Hill at the Clarence Thomas hearings that got Feinstein to the Senate where Judiciary Chairman Joe Biden made her the committee's first woman. She immediately led the charge to pass an assault weapons ban. As the first woman to chair the Intelligence Committee, she took on the CIA's waterboarding of prisoners, leading to the outlawing of the Bush administration's harsh interrogations. In later years, she showed signs of age and poor health, noticeably frail when returning to the Senate after an absence, but rallying, voting yesterday before a visit with former Congresswoman Jane Harman. I went there because I miss her. And she's been voting, as she always did. Always opening doors for women. Diane left us the way she lived, on her own terms. She knew what she wanted to get accomplished. She respected diversity of opinion. She was as bipartisan as they come. Diane Feinstein did it her way, always bipartisan, even if frustrating some Democrats, but true to herself. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.